hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and we're doing a little celebration well it's not a little celebration it's a big celebration hooray and thank the lord for this young lady that graced us we say cheers we salute her and we say well done job well done tracy braxton cheers cheers to you you're absent from us but you're present with the lord and we want to say thank you for blessing us with your presence and all of your stardom you had here on this earth you have taken your flight first class i want to say yes from this messy place we call the world of inhabitants of people here on earth yes you took your one last flight first class seat to heaven or to a resting place until we're all judged congratulations we salute you on a job well done in our eyes okay um she was one of the let me see three, one of the five sisters or uh, it was the sixth uh family um population or what am I saying? She was a, uh, a family full of six kids born to um, Miss Eve. Is it Eve? Miss Eva? Evelyn. Evelyn Braxton. And I forget her uh, uh, dad's name. But anyway, I don't know why, how that came up in that picture. Ooh, but yes, check out the new cast on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta that's coming up. But we're celebrating, like I said, the life of and love of tracy braxton well i'll come in there for a few minutes hold on i'm taping mom i'll be over there okay uh of tracy but i tell you people just they just come in my my room and just bother me when i'm trying to do stores okay but we're celebrating once again i said the life of tracy braxton uh from what i hear she passed yesterday or uh, excuse me of esophageal uh stomach cancer um that's her and her husband when they first got married she had some turbulent times through her marriage with this man because he was allegedly had cheated on her and i think she played the ball back to him and she had her little affair too that's neither here nor there but the point was i was trying to make even though she had her ups and downs with her marriage she stayed with her husband I uh, can't say the rest for the other sisters, but it's just is what it is, okay? That was when her son married his girlfriend, now wife. And I think that's the little boy, the uh, child that they had together. So, Tracy did get a chance to see her son get married to a lovely girl. Olivia, I think her name is. And they gave her a baby grandson who she was very proud of. And she loved him like it was her own child okay tracy was a uh, who i wouldn't say she was the black sheep of the family but to me she was the fun part of the family she knew how to have a good time she this was when she was letting the people know that she was having a grandson okay it was like a mist or mystery reveal when her uh, son's girlfriend now wife uh didn't know the sex and she found out and that's how she wanted to let the rest of the family know what they were having okay now we got to get a little messy we got a little hot messy uh going to miss a a little bit here and there but it's all in good fun and she, i'm pretty sure she would appreciate it too because uh miss tracy didn't give two shits about any reality show that she was gonna be fake on every time we saw the braxton's family values and you could go in my archives you would definitely see um, where I did a lot of uh, vlogging or videos about them and their antics on the show. But that's one thing I could say. Tracy didn't hold no punches. And Tracy had style and grace. And I used to love the different colors she used to put in her hair. And she knows a lot about hair because I think she used to own her own hair salon. And she did hair. And her love, though, was music. And we all know we watched those who did watch the Braxton Family Values. She had some animosity to her other, through to and for her other sisters of the group besides Tamar, because uh, I think Tamar was the youngest one. But they had a, a a group between the four of them. I think it was Tony, Tracy, 
uh, Tawanda and Trina, they all were in a group. And uh, Tracy was supposed to be the other member, but she got pregnant. And things kind of went south. And she didn't kind of forgive her sisters for that. To towards the end of them doing uh, the Brassers Family values. Then I think they had a coming to moment with Jesus and said, okay, we're going to forgive and forget all that mess, okay? But then she had another rough patch when her uh, brother's daughter uh, died, which is Lauren. And on, I think, I forgot what show it was, but it's like when you go meet with a counselor and they try to tell you what is your hidden secrets that's making you so unhappy and depressed. Because she was very, very, very depressed when Lauren uh, Braxton died. Uh, I don't know if it was accidental. I can't hardly remember it, but I do know she had passed. And Tracy was suffering from that loss a great deal more than the other sisters were. Because I think she was really close to this one. I think she even told the counselor that she hear her sometimes. Or she talked with her a lot. And she feels like she needs to be with her. And I thought that was kind of odd. It was an oddity going on there. Like, oh yeah, you really need to see somebody. Probably take some medication call. You shouldn't be hearing dead folks or anything like that. How do you know how they say, oh, the dead can't hurt you with the living? So I think it really kind of messed her up in the mind because she really felt that she needed to be with the deceased person that had already passed on to the next plane of life. So hopefully she got everything together uh, or maybe not. But hey, if it's anything how we want to believe she might be with her at this point and loving on her and taking care of her in another plane of existence okay um but tracy did put out some albums um they weren't like number one hits but they were doable you know what i'm saying i, I always felt that Ter uh, tracy kind of fell in the shadows of tamar and tony braxton and she could never get into the midst of everything as far as the music business because she was always um what do you call it compared in a sense almost like Beyonce and Solange knows are compared to one another and um Solange's kind of seen in the shadows of Beyonce because she can't seem to get people to focus on her without comparing her to her mega star sister so I definitely can, can understand it and it seems like Tracy was a lot more closer to her dad than she was to her mom. And I'm just saying it from the optics that they give me. Because, you know, Tracy was always real close. She was always knowing what was going on with her dad. And she also stayed in the same city they were born into. Or grew up in, which is Baltimore, I think. Baltimore, Maryland. So, uh, she, I think she was really close to her brother and her dad than her mother and the other sisters you know i think she could get along with uh, trina real well i like to see them two express each other express themselves to each other and all like that it was kind of cute when they were in the uh, scenes together but i did not know that tracy had friendships with uh, a friendship with the phage balls and i guess i should have because i did see them on some talk shows uh especially sister circles when it was around and um, they had fun things to say about one another. So I was like, okay, well, maybe the people don't know that. And I can bring that to the people that, yes, Phaedra called herself uh, hooking up with Tracy. It's kind of bad that they didn't get a little show together or be a part of a show where they can showcase their talents. Because I really do feel that Portia, I mean, Phaedra did kind of get a sort of raw deal. Because if one was going to be taken off, meaning Carlos King and um Phaedra then Portia should have been somewhere around that that stage too but they looked at Portia as the innocent victim uh just that in the third naive uh gullible and those two meaning Phaedra and Carlos used her to get the storyline out so but we see what kind of traction uh Portia's making now she's still making bad deals here and there and it just is what it is but uh Tracy has definitely been a fan favorite of mine and others as well. She appeared on The Real. Like I said, she appeared on Sister Circle. Um, she's been on like a radio broadcast, podcast um, type a radio personality um, situation she had in her hometown. And, you know, like I said, she was making music, her kind of music that she liked. But she just never could kind of get out of the shadows of Tony Braxton and Tamar. And then when Tamar was going through her little mess, um, they kind of tried to do a 
intervention and that was like being showcased on the show as well but i mean she totally gave me like uh, i want to go out there and hang with her she's a good person to hang with she's loyal and she's just fun to be around uh and like i said she didn't give up on her marriage she wanted to it just is what it is but i guess she saw more in him than trying to date somebody new and get them used to your ways and this that and the third so um that's pretty much all i really got to say about miss tracy she had a very good upbringing uh she had a baby didn't give him up for adoption didn't abort him <coughs> uh she missed out on her uh singing with her sisters when she wanted to but life you know kind of made things come full circle where she did actually had a chance to go on tour with tony <coughs> and um be a backup singer for her like she would have been when she was in her what uh early uh 20s and whatnot that she got a chance to uh pick that back up and understand how that flowed through uh of the scene of traveling on the road uh singing at concerts and showcasing you know her sisters and then what with what she wanted to do early on in life but she got a chance to do in the latter part of her life and she had some ups and downs you know a bad marriage um uh, that she served her or tried to serve her but then it wasn't meant for her to do so i'm pretty sure she would have left she wanted to give it a second chance uh she had definitely um time with this person and she just didn't want to give up on him or feel like a failure i guess for lack of a better word uh she had a beautiful son who end up uh marrying someone or being in a relationship with someone that uh, bore her a grandchild she got a chance to you know knew what that felt like uh getting back into the baby mode and this that in the third she's not gonna have a chance to see him grow up and be the person that uh she probably is in uh we call it uh it's expected him to be depending on what his career choice was because he's too young but she got a chance to uh feel that glorified feeling with having your grandchild or having a grandchild so uh definitely uh, she couldn't compete too much with tony and tamar because they were already the ones that were favored in the music industry because um tracy did battle a lot with her weight changes and stuff of that nature and even tony had brought out to her you need to lose some weight you can kind of heavy and i thought that was like god dog but you know that's what silver rivalry siblings do to one another should be expected but it's kind of piss poor when you're doing it on tv for everybody to watch that i don't think i would have did that to my uh sibling it might have been said off camera or you know in private settings you know but no nah, we wouldn't definitely did that and i think it kind of hurt um tracy as well but she endured she endured and and got past that uh she didn't want to have fights with tamar here and there uh and as you can see they were having problems in their marriage and they got on the show called married boot camp and um had to hash some things out and they made it you know and that is what's good but like i said tracy is not no longer with us on this plane of earth as we know of she died yesterday from what the reports are saying uh of esophageal stomach cancer so she must have had cancer in her her um her throat part as well as her stomach so that if you catch it earlier i guess you, she would have a better chance but maybe she didn't catch it um in time enough to where they could have done something more aggressive with it but you know then again when it's your time to go it's just your time to go uh at least she had a chance to say goodbye each day uh for a period of time and had a chance to deal with it and let everybody know who she had issues with she didn't have issues with them anymore maybe she did who knows you know what i'm saying but the expectancy is that you kind of forgive people and they forgive you for what you've done to them and you have a clean slate you know how to say don't let something bad don't let the sun set before you let somebody know that you know if you offended somebody go in and ask them for your forgiveness this, that, and the third and i think she did that uh because she, she to me she wasn't a bad person she just felt a certain way and she had to work through that with the tools that she was given and her religious beliefs and she did whatever she felt she wanted to do 
in a, a nice way or in a way she could present herself as being nice and she i think she really did live a full life and it came full circle to her of wanting the things that everybody wants family they want recognition from their family they want to be loved and they want to know what it's like to you know have a family have a child have a child have their child to be your grandchild and to be what she wanted was to be a success in the music industry which to me i think she had a very nice voice um it wasn't one that really needed to belong in the background um and i think it just had a lot to do with what people feel when you're working with them and how they promote you and what you're willing to do you know are you willing to sacrifice your soul and just that and the third and i don't think she did any of that she just wanted to go on her own merits her god-given talents and it's not it wasn't gonna go but so far because you have to f be full-fledged into that circle or network of people and you have to do some strange things to get that change or that notoriety and she wasn't i'm pretty sure not about that life so we salute you we say uh job well done on this earth and hopefully the lord will say the same thing my good and faithful servant well done come on home and that is what it is but uh yes i just wanted to give um miss tracy braxton her celebration of life salute uh it was nice knowing you thank you for gracing our screen giving us nothing but laughter out of stuff that was supposed to be reality <laughs> But, you know, you wore them half styles, girl. You wore them burgundy looks. You wore that blonde look. You wore the uh, brown look. And girl, you just did so much with the hairstyling. And even the brunette look or the black look of hair. And that's why I said, that child, I know she can do what she got to do. And she do it well. Not only was she an owner and a hairstylist and, you know, did hair she got into the music business and she created a nice family for herself well done tracy baxter well done okay y'all get down in those comments y'all let me know what y'all loved about miss tracy being a part of this earth and when we first got a chance to see her which was on the family braxton's uh value show and how and what funny moments y'all liked with tracy when she was on our screen gracing it so beautiful and professionally all right and i will see y'all next video bye bye